Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rob and welcome back to episode number 89 of the Houston Astros franchise here on MLB The Show 20. Today we will continue the ALDS between the Houston Astros and Chicago White Sox. Series is tied at one apiece, so since there is no elimination scenario today that we'll get to in one game, we'll have two, as we'll have both games three and four regardless as to what happens in this episode. So if you're excited, make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below, especially if you want more franchise content here on the channel. So here's a look at the action so far. Game one, the White Sox beat Houston 7-5, but the Astros rebounded in game two 12-7. Those games were in Houston. Today we are in Chicago, and Chris Archer will be on the mound for the White Sox in game three. Uh, struggled to find his footing in Pittsburgh ever since being traded to Chicago a season ago. He has started to come back to Archer of old here in the south side. Jose Altuve, the former MVP, will be leading off for the Astros. Here's a look at both lineups, the same as in both games one and two, so no major changes yet. You can see both teams have a couple of solid hitters. Both teams have players who are struggling. We order offers specifically for the Astros. He hoped that he would step up, and George Springer has yet to get a hit in the ALDS. Altuve 0-2 to him. He will swing and miss on the slider, so he will be sat down to begin the ballgame. George Springer still looking for that first hit of the ball game. Gets a nice fastball up, but just pops it up to a right field for out number two. And that'll bring up the MVP of this season for the American League, Alex Bregman. In the very first pitch, he's going to ground to the third base of Moncada, who throws him out at first. So a 1-2-3 inning for Houston. Speaking of the Astros, they're going to send Jose Urquidy onto the mound. He's been Astros starting pitcher now for two seasons, and he's played very well. In his first two major league seasons, 324 ERA this year. He will start off against Starling Marte, and he will align one straight at Oledmus Diaz at short for out number one. Big pickup from a season ago, DJ LeMahieu, and he's going to first pitch swing as well. This one's batted down by Bregman. No throw at first, so they're just going to rule it. A base hit for DJ LeMahieu. Yohan Moncada up next, 2-1, powers one to deep center. Not deep enough, though. Springer has enough space. He will record out number two. Next up, Eloy Jimenez, 0-1 to Jimenez. He's going to bloop one into shallow left center. Outfield playing very far back. But Marte, or excuse me, Lemayhu only goes one bag. So now runners on first and second. Two outs for Tim Anderson. It's a hot shot at the hot corner. Nice glove by Bregman. So both teams scoreless through one. Jordan Alvarez leads it off for Houston at the top of the second. And he gets a base hit here. Only his... Second base hit of the series. Josh Bell up next. 1-0. This one's a dribbler out in front of the pitcher's mound. Archer will field it for the first out. How about Mark Canna? 3-0. He draws a four-pitch walk. So that'll put him on first one away. So maybe a scoring threat here for Houston. Josh Reddick, who had a big homer in game one, gets underneath one here. He pops it up to shallow center. Runners don't advance. And that means Alesmus Diaz up next, who's also hitless in the ALDS. And he'll remain that way as well. That's a fly out to center to end the top of the second. Bottom two now. Right fielder Nomar Mazzara starting us off. And he's going to start us off with a bang. A solo shot out to a right. A big time homer. That is the second home run of the ALDS for Nomar Mazzara. I know it says first, but he's had two so far in this ALDS. That one was 422 down the line. And the White Sox will strike first to the applause of the home ground, it, home crowd. It is one nothing White Sox. Jose Abreu up next, 1-2. This is a dribbler to the left side of the infield. That one is fielded cleanly. And he's thrown out at first for out number one. Catcher Yasmani Grandal up next, 1-0 to Grandal. He also gets a high fastball and drills this one to right. This one is out of here into the bullpen. Another solo shot for Chicago. This time it's Yasmani Grandal. And if you go back to the end of the season, even back in September, Grandal has been giving us fits for about a month now. And he continues that trend with a solo shot here. The second of the inning puts the White Sox up now 2 to nothing. There's still only one out in the inning. That means Luis Robert is up next. 250 so far on the series. 1-0 down the line. This one hits off of the first base bag. Bell looked like he would have fielded that one, but an unlucky hop goes over his head. That's just how the inning's been going. Speaking of Robert, he's still on first. He's going to take off for second, but he is gunned down. Close play at second. Looked like Urquidy was ready for it. 
But if you look at the replay, it looked like he was going to be safe. But he is tagged out, and he just did not put his fingers down on the bag. You can tell he's hovering over the bag. Just touch it. He would have been safe. So, Starling Marte is still at the dish now. Two to nothing to him. He lines one straight at Springer. And that'll be how the second inning ends. So, the Astros have any sort of answer. Garrett Stubbs will be up first. 1-1, one, one, high slider to the opposite field. Just not enough power on it as Jimenez records the first out. Altuve up next. First pitch to him. He swings and hits this one up the middle, but it's slow roller. And his field been thrown on by Tim Anderson. That's the second out. Springer still looking for his first hit in the series. He won't get it here. Slider away. Strike three. Top third finished. Now, how does Herd Kitty respond? He'll start off with DJ LeMahieu, and it's a 1 1 single up the middle. So another base runner here for Chicago early. And we're getting to the heart of the lineup. You know, Mokeda pops up a fastball. That's a nice pitch by Herd Kitty on the down and away corner. Out number one. Eloy Jimenez. He draws a walk. I thought that was strike three, but instead it's ball four. So he will take first base. Now Tim Anderson up next. He hits one softly to right field. Reddick has got it. And they will not test the arm of Reddick. Runner stays at second. So two away now. Nomar Mazar, who had the big home run just a minute ago, grounds it to Altuve. That's the third out of the inning as we stay 2-0. So Astros, they need some runs here now. Full count walk for Bregman. i will put a runner on for them. I don't blame Archer for not wanting to pitch to him. The Alvarez, though, will swing and miss on a fastball, so his struggles continue as he will sit down. Josh Bell up next. 1-1 one, one changeup over the middle. He hits it into right field. That's another base hit. So two aboard on now for the Astros. That's going to bring up Mark Canna. Full count to him. He checks his swing, but it doesn't matter. Strike three is called. And that's going to bring up Josh Reddick, 2-0, punch to the opposite side of the field. That's out. No, it's not out, number three. A routine play pulls Abreu off the bag. That's an E6 on Anderson. So now the bases are loaded, and it's a Lesmus Diaz. This would be a great time for your first hit of the series, but first pitch swing and back to Archer, and that's going how the top of the fourth ends. So missed opportunity there for Houston, and our kitty still on the mound gives up a deep out to Jose Abreu. So that'll be the first out of the inning. And then Yasmani Grandal up next, 2 2 to him. And he bloops this one into center. So another base hit, another runner on for Chicago. And that is actually how, oh no, excuse me, Luis Robert up next. He grounds one up the middle. This one also gets through. So back to back singles for Chicago. And that is how Eric Kitty's day will end. Manager Cook has seen enough. And he's going to turn it over to Rogelio Armenteros, the fifth starter in the regular season rotation. He did not pitch very good. So he's been regulated to bullpen status for this series. But he comes on in a big situation, but he gets a 2-0, 3-6-3 double play. Inning over by Armenteros. Nice pitching in relief. Top five now, Houston. Stubbs leads us off. Slider, good pitch to hit, and he does, but it's caught out by Mazar in right. Astros are struggling to get the base hits consistently. Now Altuve up next. He's jammed inside. That's a broken bat for out number two. Easy play by Abreu. And now George Springer to the dish. 2-0 to Springer. Gets a high slider, and he perfectly lines this one into center. So Springer has his very first hit of the ALDS. So he'll be on first for Alex Bregman, and he gets a first pitch changeup and blasts this one to left center. We're back to square one. Two-run shot by Alex Bregman, and that is why he is your AL MVP. Plenty of big-time shots. He had 49 homers in the regular season. He's already got two in the ALDS, and we're tied up at two apiece. Big-time shot by Alex Bregman. So still two away for Jordan Alvarez, and he's going to ground into the shift. But the Astros get the runs they need. Now they just got to hold them. DJ LeMay, he was two for two with two singles today, will lead us off in the bottom of the fifth. Armentera still on the mound. First pitch, and LeMay, who lines this one into right field. It lands in front of Reddick. So another leadoff base runner for Chicago. You know, I'm okay up next. He's first pitch swing as well, and he's going to bloop this one into left. However, Alvarez does get underneath this one, so that'll be the first out of the inning. Now, Eloy Jimenez, he gets 0-1, also hits it to left. This time a little bit deeper, 
but Alvarez has this one as well. So he records both out one and two, which means up next is Tim Anderson. Had the big E6 last inning, or well, two innings ago, and he grounds outs for the third out of the fifth. So still tied up at two with four innings to go. Josh Bell leads us off in the sixth. He hits a slow dribbler, which will be fielded and thrown over to Archer for out number one. Now Mark Canna up next, 1-0 to Canna. And he hits this one, beats the shift into right field. So he gets himself a nice piece of base hit in there with one away. Puts up Josh Reddick up next, who's first pitch swing on a fastball. And he drills this one deep right center to get up against the wall. Canna going to third. He's going to actually round and go home. There will be no play at the plate. And the Houston Astros have the lead 3-2 to two, thanks to the RBI double by Josh Reddick. He has been clutch so far this series. 1-0 now Diaz. He lines out to the shortstop. Still looking for that very first hit. Out number two. Garrett Stubbs up next. Full count. Swings at a changeup that would have been ball four. The Astros take the lead. So now it's time for the White Sox to get back on their horses. And Mazar will lead off the six by getting its eight up by Bell. But beautiful defense by Altuve to hustle over and not give up on the play. That's out number one. Mazara in a little bit of disbelief. Jose Abreu up next, 2-2, high slider, can't connect. Nice pitch by Armenteros to sit him down. And that will bring up Yasmani Grandal, who's been troubled a plenty today, and he will continue to be that. Hits against the shift, that is a 3-for-3 three three day now for Grandal. And even he's, his slow self will get into second. So now, White Sox with a chance to get another run. They're going to walk Robert. So now runners on first and second. We're going to the top of the order. Starling Marte, 1-0, loop into center, it gets down. Springer will not be tested, but its base is loaded now, two away. And so Houston wants a fresh pitcher. It's going to be Alex Reyes, the flame-throwing fastballer who struggles with his command. He can't walk this batter. 1-1 to LeMayhew, hit at Diaz, fielded cleanly, thrown over to first, and Houston gets out of the inning. No run surrender, big timeout by Reyes. So now it's time for the White Sox to go to their bullpen. Jimmy Cordero, who we've seen in both games, one and two, will lead us off in the seventh. Altuve tries to lead down a bunt to get on board, but he's thrown out by half a step. Or was he thrown out by half a step? Houston's going to take a second to challenge. They want their man upstairs to give him another look at the replay. And it looks like Altuve was out by maybe a half step. So no challenge. Good call by the first base umpire for the first out. And then Springer will hit this one deep to right for the second out. So Mazzara, a little bit extra there on the grab. So two away now for Alex Bregman, and he'll do what he does best. That's get on base as he beats the shift down the line. Both teams have done a very good job of beating the shifts, I would say, so far in the series. So he gets into second easy. Now it's a prime chance for Alvarez, but he dribbles in front of Grandal, who fields it, throws him out at first, and we're through six and a half. Now bottom seven time, Chris Devinsky, arguably the best reliever for Houston, comes in. He'll start off his day against Yohan Moncada. Full count to him. He gets a high fastball, hits it deep right field. Reddick is back of the roll, but he's out of real estate. This one is gone into the bullpen sports grill. And Yohan Moncada has tied this one up at three apiece. Back to square one. Devinsky's first battery gives up the long ball. And that was a Big time shot, 373, and we're all tied up at three apiece. White Sox, still nobody out. They still got a whole inning to play. Eloy Jimenez, though, will strike out on that nasty slider. Tim Anderson up next. He connects on a slider, hits it to Reddick, though, right at him for out number two. And that brings up Nomar Mazzara. First pitch to Mazzara. He gets a fastball, drills it deep right center. Springer's going back. He's at the wall. He jumps forward, but it's over his glove. Another solo shot for Mazzara. The fourth solo shot for the White Sox today, and they have the lead. No more Mazzara. His second of the day, third of the series. He puts the White Sox up 4-3 to three here in the bottom of the seventh. Jose Abreu up next. 0-2. He gets caught looking. I don't know if I agree with the call, but Chicago is back up. So in the top of the eighth, they're going to turn it over to Aaron Bummer. He was the closer down the stretch, but it looks like Chicago wants to use him in the eighth inning today. And that'll result in Bell getting a leadoff single. 
So he'll be on first. Ty runs at first. Mark Canna up next. 0 2 swings through the slider. That'll be out number one. And now he gets the lefty on lefty matchup. Josh Reddick, 1 2. Blares this one to left. It is caught. So that time it did work out. And Bell will stay on first. And that'll actually be it for Bummer. They only had him face three batters. And they're going to turn it over to another lefty, Jace Fry, who got hit pretty hard in game number two. So we'll see if we can continue that trend here in game three. And it's Diaz's turn, but he's hitless. So Jack Mayfield will come on to pitch hit. A very interesting pitch hitter also. Full count to Mayfield. He draws the walk. So I guess he did his job. He will take first base. And he will actually be pinch run by Miles Straw. So a little bit of extra speed on the base pass. He would be the go-ahead run. Stubbs, though, 1-1. One, one, hits it to center. It is caught. So the pinch runner does not matter. However, Straw will stay in the game at short. So we're going to go bottom eight now. And that's going to result in Austin Pruitt coming in for Houston. Houston is down by one. They're trying to keep it that way going into the top of the ninth. Grandall up first, 3-3 on the day, and he gets the line out at Bell, so he's now 3-4, for four, nice glove by him at first. Now Luis Robert up next, 2-1, dribbler to Bregman, who was playing in, so he records out number two. Now Starling Marte, who's 1-4 for four on the day, 1-0, gets a pitch, lines it into left, that'll be out number three. So Houston will go into the night down by one, is the familiar face Liam Hendricks, signed with Chicago in the offseason. He will be tasked with getting another save against Houston. Jose Altuve in the top of the lineup is up, though. 2-1 Altuve. He's jammed on a fastball. He pops it up into foul territory. There is out number one. George Springer up next. They're actually going to pinch hit for Springer. They're going to bring in Justin Smoke. Springer has struggled. So Houston wants the righty on lefty matchup here. 0-2 to Smoke. He strikes out on the low fastball looking. So that did not work out. And now Houston's down to the last out, and it's John Alex Bregman. It's two for three on the day. We could use another big shot here. Full count to Bregman. They're not going to give him a pitch to hit. He draws ball four, so time runs on first for Jordan Alvarez. Full count to Alvarez. Fastball on the outside, but it's called a strike. I don't agree with the call, but that's how game three will end Chicago. Wins game three by a score of four to three. I think that is a BS call, but we're not going to go into it. We got robbed, but Chicago is their winners in game three. They take a 2-1 series lead, so they put the pressure on Houston. They have to win out or they're going to go home. Nomar Mazar is your player of the game. You know, rightfully so. He had two solo shots. All of Chicago's runs were scored on solo shots. So we just got to do a better job of keeping the long ball down. Let's go around the league, though. Let's go to the NL first. The Dodgers beat the Braves here in Game 4 by a score of 4-3. to three. So the Dodgers have punched their ticket to the NLCS, still trying to win that World Series ring that's eluded them. The Braves' journey ends here as they go down 3-1. to one. Also in the NL, the Cubs beat the, Do or beat the Nationals 7-5. to five, And they also win their series 3-1. to one. So the NLCS is set. It'll be Dodgers-Cubs on the National League side. What's going to happen on the American League side? It's us in the White Sox. And let's check up on the Yankees' athletics. Game 3, the Yankees do beat the athletics 8-5. to five. So the Yankees now take a 2-1 series lead. And the athletics' hopes of going back-to-back -back hinder as they need to win two against the Yankees. They'll have to win the next one in Oakland first. That'll be the first part. We're also an elimination game, so we'll see how we respond against Dallas Keuchel, the former Astro. And he'll be going up against Joe Musgrove in Game 4, but here we are at Guaranteed Rate Field, a must-win matchup for the Houston Astros as the White Sox now lead the series 2-1. to one. Here's a look at the lineups. The White Sox going with the same lineup they did games 1-3. through three. The Astros, though, have a little bit of a different lineup. Abiso Garcia, you can see he's hitting second. He's playing DH today. No Canna in the lineup. And Springer, who's been struggling so far with an 077 average, he has been moved down to the seventh spot. So here's Dallas Keuchel's numbers, a former MV or Cy Young winner for the Houston Astros. He's not the same Dallas Keuchel he once was, but 402 ERA is not bad for a back end of the rotation starter for Chicago. Here's Altuve leading us off the full count to Altuve. He checks his swing, did not go around, so he will take. A leadoff walk to begin this ball game. Now on first, Abisal Garcia, his first at bat since game two. He pops up a fastball behind the plate. That'll be a out number one. 
Now Alex Bregman's turn 2-0. He turns on a fastball, but gets a little bit too much underneath it as this one's flared out to him and as in left for the second out of the inning. That now brings up Jordan Alvarez. 1-0 fastball, and Alvarez crushes it to right field. Houston wastes no time getting on the board in this one. That ball is gone into the bullpen. And Jordan Alvarez has a two-run shot to begin this ball game. 386. And Astros now jump out in front 2 to nothing against the former Houston Astros pitcher in Dallas. Keuchel must have felt pretty good. Now Josh Brell up next, full count to him. He grounds this one to the third baseman, Moncada, who throws him out at first. But the Astros get two. Here's Joe Musgrove's numbers on the season. Musgrove came over at about the deadline in a trade from the Pirates that sent Michael Brantley over to Pittsburgh. And he had a 344 total season ERA. Definitely pitched better, though, while he was in Pittsburgh. Here's Starling Marte bleeding us off for Chicago once again. 0-1 to him, dribbler. To the left side of the infield. Diaz, though, gets eight up by this one. He cannot field it cleanly, and that'll be an E6 to begin this ballgame. Now on first, Marte. It's gonna, well, it's not going to matter. Four, six, three double play. As that is a nice turnaround by Musgrove. Now brings up Moncada. First pitch to him. He turns on it, but it's hit right at Josh Bell. And the Chicago White Sox go down an unconventional one, two, three. Top two now. Here's Reddick leading us off, and he's going to beat the shift. Like I said in the first game, a lot of shift beaters for both of these teams, and Reddick has a leadoff double. Now here's Springer up next. One, two, hitting lower in the order. He's going to ground it to the right side. However, Reddick does move up to third, and now he just needs a high fly ball to left field. It might get it here. Diaz to left. Will they test the arm of Jimenez? They will. Throws it home, but it is offline, and Reddick will score. And the Astros now have a 3 to nothing lead. Garrett Stubbs up next. First pitch to Stubbs. He's jammed, popped up into foul territory. That's an easy play for Grandal. But it's now 3 to nothing Astros. White Sox hoping to make sure they don't jump out to an even larger lead. They need some offense here, but Jimenez will strike out on the high slider. Tim Anderson up next. First pitch. He's grounding to Diaz. This time he does field it cleanly. And he throws him out at first. Two away. Now, Mar Mazzaro gave us plenty of fits in Game 3. He grounds this one, but the shift up the middle fields it. And the Astros get two scoreless innings. Here's top three. Altuve still trying to lay down that bunt. Fielded by Keiko, but this time Altuve finally gets on board from the bunt. Been trying that for a while now. Garcia up next. Single into left. So now runners on first and second. Nobody out. More trouble for Keiko. Bregman, 0-2, grounds it to the right side of the infield. That's going to be a 3-6-3 double play. And Altuve is on third base. Can Alvarez single and bring him home? No, he cannot. And it's still 3-0 Houston. Bottom three now. White Sox looking for something. Abreu, 3-1. This one's going to help. Down the right field line into the corner. He will round first, go to second. And there's a leadoff double this time for Chicago. Yasmani Grandal, first pitch swinging, hit directly at Reddick. They will test Reddick going to third, and Abreu will get in safely. So now 90 feet from their first run, that brings up Luis Roberts. First pitch swinging, it's hit at Reddick again, this time a little bit shallower, and they will not test his arm. Reddick throw all the way to the plate, probably a good idea. So now Chicago needs a base hit. Is Starling Marte, 2-2, bloop into center, but Springer's underneath it, and he's got it. Scoreless three innings for Chicago. Top four now, Bell leads us off. Full count, check swing, no swing. So he takes first base. Brings up Josh Reddick, 3-1. He's going to slap this one into left field. It's going to be caught as it's flared out for Eloy Jimenez. That's the first out of the inning. Now George Springer up next, 0-0, oh, oh, and he hits this one down the line and right, another base hit for Springer. That's only his second base hit of the series, but it rewards him with a double. Now runners on second and third, one out. Houston wants more runs. It's Diaz's turn, first pitch swinging, hit to left field. Jimenez is going, and he makes the catch, probably goes into the stands for it. Runners will tag, though. He almost should have let that one go. It's now 4 to nothing, Houston. Stubbs up next, 0-2, dribbler to the right side of the infield. So it'll be 4-0 now, Astros, after three and a half innings. 
White Sox still looking for their first run of the ball game. LeMahieu, he's not going to help here. That's a 2-1 ground or 2 all 2 vec. That'll be out number one. Yohan Moncada's turn. 1-1 one, one to him. Fastball, but it beats the shift. So there's another base runner for Chicago. A one-out single will bring up the five-hitter. Or four-hitter, excuse me. That'll be Eloy Jimenez, but he grounds it to Diaz. 6-4-3 double play. End of the inning. Musgrove pitching phenomenal here in a must-win game. Top five. Another base hit for Houston. Altuve gets a leadoff single. And that'll do it for Dallas Keuchel. Doesn't even last five innings. He'll be pulled for the lefty, Zach Putnam. And you can see his numbers on the season. And 438 ERA. Excuse me, he is actually not a lefty. He was just carrying his glove in his right hand, so I thought he was lefty. But 0-1 steal attempt, Altuve into second base. You don't see that a lot by this Houston lineup. But now he puts himself in scoring position. Garcia does strike out in the at-bat. But now Bregman can get him home with a base hit. 1-1. This one slapped, but right at Anderson for a line-out number two. And then Alvarez, he is tied up on the cutter. Just gets absolutely fooled. So Putnam does his job and gets the inning over. Bottom five now, Chicago. They need some sort of offense. Here's Tim Anderson. He's 0-1 for 1 on the day. 2-13 for 13 on the series. 1-0 to him. Hot shot, Bell. He's 2-14 for 14 now on the series. Nice glove by Josh Bell. Nomar Mazar up next, and he's going to beat the shift. That is another shift-beating double for both squads. And that's a one-out double for Mazar. continues to give us fits. Jose Abreu, can he bring him home? Well, a four-pitch walk won't bring him home, but it will put him on first. But now a double play is in order. Yasmani Grandal, 1-1 into left field over the glove of Bregman. And that puts bases loaded one away. Luis Robert, can he get Chicago their first run? This one's blooped into center, and it's going to get down. Springer overruns it as well. And everybody will be safe, and that'll be the first run for Chicago. It's now 4-1 to one Astros. Top of the lineup now, Marte, first pitch. Glide into left. This will be out number two, but will they test their arm of Alvarez? They will. Alvarez comes up firing at the plate, and he guns him down at home. Beautiful throw by Jordan Alvarez. It's still 4-1 to one Astros. Bell, he'll lead us off with a leadoff walk in the sixth. So he'll take his base again. And then Josh Reddy looks at a questionable strike three for the first out of the inning. George Springer is 1-2 for two now on today. Looking to make it 2-3, for three, and he does. It gets down in front of Mazar in right. They're actually going to go to third. Bell makes it into third. So runners on the corners, one away for Diaz. Still looking for his first hit of the series. He doesn't get it here. However, he does get the run to score. Moncada went to first with it, and that makes it a 5-1 game now for Houston. Full count to Stubbs up next, and he lines it into center field. That one's going to get down as well. Springer's on his horse. He's coming home. 6-1 to one Houston. They're trying to force a game five, and they're doing a good job with it. Altuve, he walks on a full count. So Putnam in some trouble. Vassell Garcia up next, hit into right field. That's a single, will not test the arm of Mazzara. But his base is loaded, two away for Alex Bregman. 1-2 to Bregman, he gets a soft little dribbler to second baseman. Let me who fields it. But we lead the bases loaded, but it is to 6-1 now for the Astros. Musgrove still in the game, he gets LeMahieu on the slider, pitching phenomenal. That's only a second K of the game, however. Moncada up next, first pitch to him. He beats the shift into left field. Maybe we should stop playing a lot of these shifts. As that's another one-out double for the Chicago lineup. And that'll bring up the next batter. Eloy Jimenez. Full count to Jimenez. Hit up the middle base hit. Outfielders were playing deep, so Moncada will score with ease. It's now 6-2 to two, Houston. Chicago not out of this one just yet. Tim Anderson, though, he swings. On a 3-0 count, and he grounds. No, he actually doesn't ground into a double play. Throw is offline, but probably should have just taken the pitch there. Now two away from Mazzara, and he bloops this one over to Bregman, who records the out. But Chicago does get one across. They'll bring in Zach Britton here for the top of the seventh. The lefty out of the pin, and he gets the Alvarez a strikeout on the slider. A little bit of lefty on lefty action there. And then that's going to bring up Josh Bell. Full count to Bell. He swings through a sinker of his own. So that's strike three. Britton coming in and getting his job done. And then another lefty matchup. He does walk on four pitches. 
So Britain goes his three batters, and I like to do it for Zach Britton. I think they just brought him in for the lefty part of the lineup, which isn't a bad idea. They're going to turn over to Alex Colombe now, a righty up against George Springer. Who will win this battle. Full count to Springer, and he swings through the changeup. So Chicago, nice pitching strategy here in the seventh. I need some more offense, though, at the bottom of the seventh. Musgrove stays in the game. 1-0 pitch to hit deep to the left field. Alvarez is at the wall, but he just has enough space for a long out number one. Grundahl up next. 0-1. What do you know? He beats the shift. Gets all the way to the wall. And he's going to go into second. Throw is not in time. That's another one-out double for this White Sox squad. And that brings up Luis Robert, the nine hitter. And he strikes out on the fastball. Fastball on the edge. Nice pitch by Musgrove. Now he needs another out by Marte. And he gets him to pop up in the infield. Seven solid innings out of Musgrove. It's still 6-2 to two Houston. And the eighth, Jimmy Cordero will come in for Chicago. We've seen him in all three games so far this series. His day starts off against Diaz, who on the 0-1 pitch grounds it to LeMayhew. Still looking for that first hit of the series. Here, Stubbs up next. 1-2, sinker hit into center. However, Marte is over and he records out number two. And I'll take us to the top of the lineup. And Jose Altuve, first pitch swinging on a changeup. It's hit deep to left, but Jimenez records out number three. Musgrove stays in for the eighth. Interesting strategy here is he's got up to 91 pitches and leadoff single by DJ LeMahieu. Next up is Yohan Moncada. 2-0 to him, and he bombs a fastball deep right center. This one is out of here over the bullpen for a two-run blast. 413 feet by Moncada. And I think you got to, I mean, Musgrove kind of pr probably should have taken him out by now. I think that was... A little delays up in his 90 pitches. I know you're up 6-2, to two, but now it's a 6-4 ball game. And Houston will do just that, Musgrove. Don't let this last top of the inning fool you. He's pitched phenomenal today, despite his ERA. Will be a little higher. But then I'll bring in Ryan Presley to get out of the 8th. He has a 2-run lead. He's been our closer for the second half of the season. And he's going to be tasked with the 8th inning today. Eloy Jimenez can't connect on the sweeping curve. Presley is one of the most dominant relievers in the game. Showing it here. Anderson up next. First pitch swinging. Grounder to Altuve. That'll be out number two. How about Nomar Mazzara? One of our hardest guys to get out. And Presley gets him out with a pop-up to Bregman. So Houston, 6-4 lead. They're going to go into the night trying to bum some runs off Aaron Bummer. Pun definitely intended. Try to extend their lead a little bit. Garcia beats the shift on the right side of the infield. Only one man over there. So he will get a leadoff single. That brings up Alex Bregman up next. 1-0 turns on a sinker. That one's into left field as well. So back-to-back -back singles for Houston. Trying to put some more runs on the board. 0-2 to Alvarez, though. Swings through the sinker. And the frustration is starting to set in for him. He throws the bat away. How about Bell up next? But Garcia caught sleeping at second. He is gunned down on the pickoff move. A little bit of flat-footed out there for out number two. And then Bell 3-1 pops up behind the plate. So Houston kind of throws away the inning. They have a two-run lead going into the bottom of the ninth. And they're going to bring in Brad Hand to close this one out. He has a lot of experience against Chicago. Last year was on Cleveland, was traded at the deadline to Kansas City. So he's played these Chicago White Sox before. First batter is Abreu. He chops it down the line. Bregman will field it. There is out number one. Next up, Yasmani Grandal. He's two for three on the day, but he's two for four. Fastball driven right through him. Out number two. And it relies up to Luis Robert now. He is the Chicago White Sox last chance. 0-1 to Robert. He connects on a fastball, hits it to left field. This one's got some care, and he's going to get over the glove of Alvarez up against the wall. Robert's got some speed. He's going to round second, go to third. He's in there safely. That is a risky base running strategy, but a two-out triple. Starling Marte up next, though, looks at a high fastball. Strike three called, and we're going to go to game five. Houston wins this one 6-4 to four in Chicago, and we head back to Houston for the all-or-nothing game. Big game here from Houston. They got off to a hot start early and just never looked back. 
You can see the box score here. Both teams with 11 hits. However, Houston made the most of their hits. They got to that 4-0 lead and then got off to the end. Player of the game was Brad Hand came in in the night. Got two strikeouts and the save. But we're going to a game five, ladies and gentlemen. The all-or-nothing decider. But before we get there, New York and Oakland, they do not go to a game five. Yankees beat the Athletics 4-3, to three, which means they win the series and end the Athletics' hope of back-to-back -back World Series titles. So now we know whoever wins the next matchup against the Houston Astros and Chicago White Sox will face the New York Yankees. Here is a look at the playoff bracket. All the other matchups, all the other teams have moved on. But it's game five time between Chicago and Houston. That'll be the next episode. It'll just be game five. And we'll see who continues their journey for a World Series title. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below. It'll be Giolito versus Justin Verlander. This one will probably be coming to you guys on Friday. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think we'll win? Do you think we'll get eliminated? You'll have to find out. This is Mr. Rob, and I'll see you in the next one.